Hello everybody, I'm the here the Hammer Game Channel. Welcome back to another video and to the a thousand week Reich mod. It has been a while. It's been that long. It's actually been updated. The motherland calls. So Russia has got a lot more juicy stuff in there and we're checking out one of those routes today. So let's get into this. So before we actually get into this, this is actually the third attempt at recording this. So far, my first two Germany's been invaded by America, which I think just completely ruins the game. If Germany gets invaded by America when they're in their civil war, there's no point playing. Because if you plan on taking on Germany, it's just... Taking on the Toronto Accord just sucks. So, I've put on the game rules that America and the Toronto Accord will not intervene in the German Civil War, just so we can have the big bad menace in Europe to take down later on. Or ally with, I don't know what happens with our tree, because we're going fascist of course. Ah yes, Operation Vladimir. We have found the socialist base of operations in the countryside of Baratia, and we have set it aflame, and then we've killed all of the socialist partisans. So yay, fried comrades. Or oh, I can't read, fried communists. Shalomov is dead and the SRCO have dissipated into irrelevance. We have Vasily Joykov in charge of the Perm Soviet government, so we'll see how that works out for them. It's the start of the collapse into the Civil War. The riots on Christmas Day, what's supposed to be a joyous and very festive and happy day, has turned into complete disaster with massive riots breaking out across Baratia, with dissatisfied protesters, terrorists, and state security forces clashing in city streets and villages. So, yeah, this is the downfall of our, uh, our government. And here we go, the civil war is beginning. The Bod Yabo uprising, the unthinkable, has finally happened. You're missing the eye there. Uh, the Russian fascist party has gained enough support to launch a general uprising with the intention of overthrowing our government. The national revolution starts here. Let's flip over to them. Damn, we're so close to taking the capital, but the bloody Russian Republic sent over a flipping tank division, haven't they? Oh, that. That was close, they were just about to take Allah. Goring has taken power in the Greater German Reich. It's still going to result in a civil war, so... Good luck in that, Goring. We have got Victor in Baratia, so we now get the post-uprising tree. Happy days, we'll see what we can do with that. We want our military factory first. Okay, it's looking good. Our march to the sea is a war goal. Well, we just declare war on the Russian Republic, so that's going to be quite challenging, but hopefully we can get ourselves prepared enough for when that actually comes. Well, the German Civil War is fully underway and Goring is losing very badly right now. What is he doing? You're about to get- You're about to get a whole lot of your troops just cut off. President Taft just died, so we now got William Noland in charge of the United States. I thought I'd read that wrong. A military coup in the United States? Authoritarian democracy? What's happened there? Well, it's nice to see Lithuania, Latvia, and Estonia all just loving life right now. Himmler is dead? Oh no. Who is going to take the reins of the Schustafel Ordenstadt now? I'm, I'm cool with Quebec getting their independence, but what is that colour? It looks hideous. So, reinforce rate of plus 50%. Okay, so Radolf Pate is in charge. Unwanted foreigner. The civil war is indeed over, and the Swiss managed to actually get their independence, so good on them. We march east to Vladivostok. Okay, so far so good. We have lost 34,000, we've killed 51k. I, I don't know what he's smoked before doing this. Like, they've only got two to five divisions, but hopefully, hopefully they'll be able to do some damage here. We have broken them. We have broken them. We almost killed 100,000 actually. We've lost 60k ourselves, but hey ho. It is what it is at the end of the day. Like, I, I'm just running to Vladivostok now. There we go. How close are they dying? Very close. Oh, nice. They got North and South Sakhalin. Perfect. That's now mine. Oh, can't wait to get all this cord. It's going to be good. There we go. Recovering from the famine is the only wholesome thing we're actually going to do as Constantine. I feel like the rest is just going to be atrocities, if uh, that's anything to go by. I have to say, Germany has wasted zero time reclaiming their uh, lost territories. Oh, nice, we got some uh, of the Mortigus generals rejoining us. 
So the All Russian Supreme Soviet First Congress, I, I don't know why it's a Soviet First Congress, but it's time for us to deal with the Matkovsky group that threatens the very fabric of our beloved party. Factionalism must end at all costs. Okay, I, I really do not like this event, but I am choosing this option only because I want to get the increase in popularity for uh, Natsok. Germans. Actually, Germans are our brothers is the option we're going to choose. They're not enemies. They're our brother in arms. I'm going to see if we can peacefully unite our uh, two great nations together. And hopefully they'll return their land to me. That would that would be cool. Question of splitters. Yeah, traitors belong to die. Like They, they create English. They, des they deserve to die is what I wanted to say. And Constantine has been victorious. Victorious. Well, we create a new faction, the White International. I'm not too sure if that's a good idea, just letting Bolotov have free reign over the streets of our cities and the halls of our party. Yes, he's our prime executioner and his special divisions are doing countless, uh, dealing with countless threats, but uh, just letting someone just do their own thing usually ends in disaster. Knife in our back, potentially. Democratic Socialism, a political theory that allows for a socialist state to have a democratic system alongside the public ownership of the means of production. An interesting combination. Ah, who doesn't love a purge? So, yeah. We changed to the Constantine tree, like I said earlier in the video. The only, only wholesome thing we're going to be doing is getting rid of the famine. And we're about to do that with a completion of class collaboration. Well, this is ideal for me. I just hope these two just weaken themselves greatly so I can just swoop on in and kill them both. Well, we've done our industry tree and we now have a semi-industrialized economy, which I think is quite good. Uh, we also have freedom through labor, which construction speed's quite nice. Uh, corporatism is also a pretty decent national spirit. And then the guilds, which is just a Fantastic. Surprise, boys. Surprise, we're coming in because I don't want this war to finish. I want them to have to keep fighting each other as well whilst I just move on in for the kill. You can already see the effect the war has had on their troops. This is fantastic. Oh, six pishy militia divisions. I can't change them, but that that's, brings me right up to 24 each. So that's good. We are off to a fantastic start in this. Just got to make sure that we have su ample supply, because once you don't have supply, it just turns to absolute crap. Oh, that came out of nowhere. We got 50% of the equipment. Fantastic. And then there was two. Just realised we're not actually at war with the Perm Soviet governments. We have to dethrone them, and they're looking very lacklustre in terms of equipment. So hopefully, this is going to do very well for us. Oh, they declare war on us. Oh, the Perm government's front looks fantastically bad. Their supply is non-existent. They've actually got less divisions than me. Oh, ideal. We've got a nice wee encirclement down here. That's a pretty decent one, to be fair. Oh, no. Mussolini's just kicked the bucket. This has just been an absolute whitewash. 16k. We thought, oh, Chiano's taking power. Um, 16k to 220. It's just continuing to go up. They can't even hold us. Oh! Get them motorised out and about, boys. We've actually killed over 10 times what we've lost. So good. Considering where we started off in comparison to the Perm government, I know they weren't exactly in a place of um, great strength either, but they were much better than me. We rose from the ashes. There we go. Wow, that, that's the equipment we got. Seriously? It's time to reintegrate some land as well, so let's reintegrate the Soviets and reintegrate Turkis uh, Turkestan and reunite Russia. The Russian fascist to reunite Russia. Against the odds, the one small Russian fascist party has defeated every warlord contender for their base, or from their base in Baratia. Receiving immediate commendation from the Toronto Accord is an illegitimate and twisted regime. The fascist powers of Europe could not be reached for a comment on the matter. It's daily pogroms and armed black shirts march throughout the countryside, the so-called Vods of Russians, Konstantin Rodzievsky, has vowed to continue the national revolution by expanding westwards and vanquishing the last remnants of warlordism. Call of the White International! Fascist delegates arrive. Okay, we got uh, an impressive turnout. I'm very intrigued to see where this goes. Okay, the first foreign representative is Colin Jordan from the White Defence League of Great Britain. Welcome. Uh, staunch believer in the British Empire is so a Okay, wow. Thanks for that, Colin. 
Benjamin Stoner, where are you from? Ah, great. Ah, oh, this this is this is wholesome and wholesome. It's just emanating wholesomeness right now. It really is. Next we have Goran Asar Ordensson, Nordic Realm Party of the Kingdom of Sweden. Okay, but uh, that's all you need to see and just think, yep, you are also crazy. That's the end of that. Wow, that was that was so wholesome. Are, are we li just looking straight to killing a Toronto Accord? And there's the founding of the White International. And the Toronto Accord has immediately denounced this organization, a vessel of global hatred. The reality of the Russian national state's new place in the world, the fascist order that rivals even the Third Reich has left ripples across global order forever. I don't know what that means. Ah, nice. We have one ally in Afghanistan. We can invite Slovenia. Actually, that's not Slovenia. That's Slovakia we've just invited. Well, Germany, you may not see us as worthy of carrying the Führer's legacy, but we're about to burn it to the fecking ground. Hello, Germany. Now, what we're going to do is... We're actually going to just sit and we're going to let them come to the front because I want them to grind on my front like there's no tomorrow.
The end is nigh, Germany. 31 to 34 divisions left. That's pathetic. Oh, what a beautiful victory. Ah, the new capital. Let's go with good old Moscow. Well, I don't know why, but the game was wanting me to, like, liberate people. And, like, Poland was free, so I've just re-annexed them. Netherlands, Belgium, and Luxembourg all popped up. They're all gone. I'm not having the Toronto Accord getting land. I'm fine with France getting their territory back. I'm fine with that, because they're fascist. I'm not having some random flipping democratic nations popping up. Not that chance in hell. Blowy wars just to, to do to finish this off. Got some core territory to regain. I'm also going to... Well, not cheat invade Romania, but I don't actually get a war thing on them. And they do actually have some of my core territory. So, uh, they need to die. Bah, Finland. I believe you have some of my core territory. Well, we just wipe the floor with the Finns. It was always going to be the case, but... Thanks for joining us. Goodbye. Don't know why we didn't get a little war goal like decision on um, Romania, but uh, they're gonna be dying, so we even declare war on the, the Serbians as well. You may be a bit hungry, Romania, but you ain't beating me. Yep, goodbye. Fantastic. That is... Oh, wait. Oh, the fate of Romania. Splendid. There we go, the Romanian Christian state. Thank you very, very much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I shall be back very, very soon for another episode. Until then, do take care. Sure, bye. Then now.